guys. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to sew your officer ranks onto your ABUs. There are a couple of clips on YouTube to show you how to do this, but I do it a little differently. So let's get right into it. So the materials you're going to need are obviously your ranks. You're going to need either black um, thread, a blue thread, or like a navy blue thread, try to match. I'm probably going to use black. You're going to need a thimble, a needle that is not too thick, some scissors, a razor blade if you're sewing off your old ranks, you can get off your old ranks. And then you're also going to need a flat iron or iron, but this is much easier, and some glue. Okay, so first, I apologize for all the sticky notes, but you know. First, you gotta take off your old ranks. Um, today, I'm gonna be switching from an old hat to a new hat, which is like a quarter inch bigger for my head. So I'm going to take off my old ranks and then put my new ones on this hat. Um, so the way that you can do this, I'll show you right now. Okay, so I know this isn't the best perspective, but for now, I think it'll work fine. So, take your razor blade. You don't want to cut a hole into your ABUs, obviously, so let's figure this out. So you're going to want to pull back the fabric and cut at the corner of your ring. get stuck then just cut it again this is not just the way for these ranks it's also the way for your squadron patch if you're switching squadrons or your wing patch if you're, if you're transferring wings um, or you're switching uniforms because you grew out of your old blouse you know so now I have my old rank, which I will donate to my squadron, and someone else, whoever, whenever someone else gets major, they can use that one. I'm going to do that for the rest of mine now. So now I'm going to show you how to make these as crisp as these besides that little piece of fabric that just fell off. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, I apologize again for the bad angle. I'm trying to make it work the best I can. So, for my hat and my ABU's fluffs, I'm only going to use, sorry, I'm trying to see. I'm only going to use three of these. I'm not gonna use all four. Why they don't sell them in individual instead of pairs, I don't know, because most people only use three. So I'm gonna cut, either way, I have to cut all of these in half. Toss this one to the side. I don't need it. Okay, so now I have three individual patches. You're gonna get fuzz all over the place, just so you know. Um, okay. You're also gonna need a ruler. Okay, so I have my ruler now. This is my favorite ruler to use, it's just a sewing ruler because you can adjust this little thing. It's really great for putting on ranks, um, like airmen and steel ranks as well. Okay, so first you're gonna wanna measure an eighth of an inch of all the way around. So if you look at it like this, um, first of all, check, make sure you double check which side you're gonna look at. This side is more plasticky because this is the side that's like put glue over it to hold it together. Make sure you're using this side, which is just the, just the thread. Okay, so we're gonna sew on this, we're gonna measure on this side. Basically just like that, from the corner, from the edge of the diamond. I'm gonna fold it where I think that the eighth of an inch is. And then I'm gonna check it with my ruler. And if it's just a tiny bit off, then you're not gonna, gonna die. Just make sure that it's not huge, because I've seen so many cadet officers get their Eker, and, and not their Eker, excuse me, their Mitchell, and they just, they sew them completely wrong. If you don't, if you really can't figure it out, then just go get a, a seamstress to it. But first I'm gonna iron 
this side, which I now have an eighth of an inch. Don't burn yourself. What I do is I take one side, hold a little bit. Okay. It's a little hot, so you know, don't put your fingers right on it once you're done. down the temperature on this thing it's much too hot okay so now we, as you see we have a crisp edge it is very nice if I do say so myself and it's just you know clean and it's easy to work with when you fold it it's gonna be a different story but right now this is really really useful so now I'm gonna measure this side Don't burn the fabric, don't burn yourself, and then get that nice crisp edge. I'm gonna measure the top, from the top of the diamond to the edge. For It's the same for if you're a second lieutenant, first lieutenant, etc. Just measure this, the edges of the circles based on where you are and just make it work for what you have. It's a little it's popping out at the top, but that's not a big deal because we're gonna glue it. You know that seems like very un very unorthodox, but it does work. And I'll skip all the other ones because it's exactly the same process. So now when you fold it flat, you want to make sure that when you're looking at it directly on, that the sides are not showing like this right here. We're gonna fix that with a little bit of glue. So, as I said, you don't want your edges showing. So you're gonna push those in by putting a tad bit of glue on the inside, right here. Another point, important note is that you're gonna wanna put it on the internal spot because you're gonna sew around these edges and it's gonna be a lot more difficult to sew through hard glue. So now I'm gonna take my fabric, I'm gonna push it in, so it's gonna be a little bit angled inward. I'm gonna, as I said, on the inside so that it does not affect the sewing that I'm about to do. Okay, now that I've sewn all the way around and I've put the glue on the inside, you can see that it's kind of bubbling up at the top. And if you look on this side, it's bubbling up. So I'm just gonna take the middle and I'm gonna glue that down as well. While also pulling it down enough to where it's even again in the middle so that it's not bubbling up on the outside. Please note that when you do this though, that you're now putting this on a one layer of fabric. Okay, so as you can see, here's my completed rank. I did get a little bit of bleed through the glue right here. So just be careful. It's not too obvious, but if you do too much and it could become a lot worse. So be careful with that. Oh yeah. Now I'm gonna do the rest of them, and then we'll get to sewing. Okay, so as you can see, I have my three patches now. Made them with my with the flat iron and the glue. So now I'm going to sew them. So first, I'm gonna show you how I personally put needle, put thread on a needle because I like to do it a certain way. I'm going to take more thread than I need because it's better to have more, not enough. I like to double it. I don't know if this is typical around sewing, you know who sew, but I'm not exactly skilled. I just figured it out for what I need. Again, I might be doing this a weird way, and anyone who sews is probably going to look at me like, And so now I'm going 
gonna do the hat because that's the probably the trickiest one to do. I'm gonna take my my worst. I can't do I can't do these worst patches. The one that I messed up the most. Like the one that's not as good as the other two. I'm gonna put it on my hat because people will see that less. It's not as obvious. And whenever you're indoors, again, people are not gonna see it. So you're gonna need your ruler. So you're going to need to measure the middle of your hat. So that's one, one eighth of an inch, which is the center. And that's gonna be the center of your patch as well. So I'm gonna put my patch on my hat like this. I'm gonna lay my ruler on top at one and one eighth of an inch. I'm gonna get my patch center on that point just by moving and adjusting and remeasuring. Center is also on this seam right here. There's like a seam you can obviously see. So the best way that we're gonna go about this is by sewing it like this through the bottom first because um, that way the thread is not showing. It's not gonna be beautiful, it's not gonna be perfect, but it works. You can also use straight pins, which I'm gonna get. For the hat specifically, it's difficult to get it to not move around. Um, so, and the only reason I say you need a thimble is because the fabric is very thick. Okay, so now I have it through the first section. I started try, trying to start the corner. This is the needle poking through. I haven't put it all the way through yet. I have it on the inside where it needs to go through, through the corner. And I have it lined up to where it's parallel to the top, center, and from left to right and top to bottom. So, we are now there. So I'm just going to sew in little sections all the way around using my thimble to poke it through because it's very thick fabric. Okay, so I've sewn all the way around and on the inside I still have these strings at the ends. What I did was, is that I sewed the entirety all the way around, and then I got to this same, I ended up at the same point. That way I can tie these two threads together. And there you go, have it. There's the hat. Looks good. Now to do the collar. The collar of my blouse. The thing about the collar is, is that you're working with the whole blouse, so you can get it's kind of annoying because you can drop it constantly and stuff. But, we'll make it work. So when you become a first lieutenant, a captain, lieutenant colonel or colonel, it's gonna be up the collar, not this way. I accidentally sewed someone's rings like this before, because I'm dumb dumb. But it's not that way, it's up so you're going to want to measure one inch in parallel and then try to center it to the best you can. Close pin in there. So there you go. I have just completed sewing on my rings. As you can see, one inch parallel to the collar center between these two points and then center on this seam right here. Um, there are some glue stains. As I said, just be very careful when you're doing that. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for the rings. Alright, that's basically it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!